Hello again everyone, welcome back to a brand new series on the channel. It's the one that we've been talking about for a little while now, and it's time for us to see if it is possible. That's right, it's going to be the Tram Only series. Now, to enable me to get this series off the ground, I have of course had to install the Cargo Trams mod from the Steam Workshop. So while I was on there, I looked for a few interesting tram mods and some d different sort of bus stop and truck stop mods just to ensure that we've got a little bit of variety going on throughout the series. Now, this is the map that I've chosen for the series. It's a medium size, and as you can see, it's got plenty of industry and quite a number of towns on it. And it looks like it should be an interesting map for what we've got going. It's not the hilliest map in the world, but there is a few hills up and down, as you can see, if I get right down to the ground level you can see there is a little bit of terrain there's some hills up in the far corners that'll be interesting to work around into the town of Dareham there we've got Bexhill on sea Slough Canterbury Lincoln uh, Edgware Nottingham West Bedlington Newark and I think it's going to be really interesting just to see how far we can get with only trams we are obviously going to be doing cargo as well I did toy with the idea of allowing a few boats just for shipping high amounts of cargo up and down to either end of the map but i think if we try and stick to tram only for as long as possible we'll see how we go on let me know in the comments what you think about the idea guys and whether you think you're going to have a go at it yourself um, i have decided to start off with just to do a short video to see how well the video goes down with you guys and see if you're interested in it because i don't want to put too much time into it if you'd rather me i'd be having a look at something different i have earmarked canterbury to start off with here as you can see, we've got this grain farm over here. Food factory here in Canterbury is demanding food. I have had a look through for later on, and there's some really complex routes we can run, because what I want to try and do eventually is not have the trams running empty in either direction. But for now, I think we're just going to put a simple route up today with the grain making food into Canterbury. So let's get into it. I'll show you what the idea is. First of all, we are going to have to tram track, but I need to know what kind of trams we're going to get here to start with. So if we go for the depot and get a tram depot, I am going to want one up near the grain, but because I don't want it a million miles away from a town, I'll just put it on the outskirts of Brexit on sea here, and we'll have a look what kind of trams we've got to work with first. So as you can see here, straight away with the mod that we've downloaded, it now gives us this option here. So I want to be delivering originally some grain. So if I click on grain here, these are the two variants of tram that can carry grain. As you can see, this one, the damp tram, can actually carry all cargo. And we have the different variants down here. As you can see, the top speed remains exactly the same. Cargo type stays the same, but the capacity. So in the short version, it goes from 6. And then the long one, it's capacity of 18. And then the G23 Ivan, we've got these different combinations here. So we can go from, if we go for the largest one, Oh, these are all different components with different, looks like the train carriages linked to the back. But all we want is just grain carriages. So we want open wagons. So the largest one with only open wagon. Looks like it's going to be 42 capacity, which is overkill for us at the minute. Um, I think if we're looking at starting off, starting off with as little expenditure as possible. We did start with 10 million guys, a little bit ticked to waste just from building the depot. But that is all alone as well. So we want to get that paid back and start earning as soon as we can. Now, I think because we're going to start off early, I do want to see them all. So we're going to start with this, the long version of the damp tram. And I think if we get, we're going to probably need a number of these, aren't we, to do the route. If we get, let's start with four in total. Now, they are obviously not electric yet. We don't have anything electric. But what I am going to have to do is upgrade this country road so that it has tram track. And we need to go all the way from the outside of the depot along to the grain farm, which is here. But I'm hoping to pick up on the main road here. We want to come all the way down and then into the town there. Now, eventually, we're going to deliver into Canterbury. So what I will do is I'll upgrade this bit now. And we'll give Canterbury a little bit of room to expand. So we'll go for a medium street and tram track. And we'll run that down into the town. And we're probably just going to put... Well, let's have a look at it, actually. If we go for a truck stop to deliver the food, we stop on the main route here, I think. I never understand. So if we turn the corner there, you see how these buildings here are, are unhighlighting. 
And I don't know whether that means it won't deliver or not. To be safe for now, we'll just go to here. And we'll drop it on the high shot. That covers everything. And then we're going to have to put a little loop in. Just to come back round and back out of the town again. And that's actually now put that up to there. So I want a small bit of country road there. There we go. And then at this end here, then we're going to need a truck depot. We don't want electric, but we do want tram track. We'll go for 20 meters so we can build up a decent food supply. And if we can get this, well, that's a nice little slot just in that the gap of the trees there, actually. So if we hook that in, we should now be able to set the route up. Actually, no, we won't because we need to put the one in this end, of course. And I'm going to put that one just right on this junction here and turn that into a bit of a crossroads. Now obviously one thing that's going to really halt our growth at the minute guys is the fact that we don't have um, bus routes yet, uh, bus lanes sorry. So we can't go past any other traffic so there's going to be times where we're holding the general traffic up and then there's going to be other times where the traffic's holding us up. It depends on what's happening with the vehicles at the time I think how, how well advanced we are. So as you see I've told them to wait for a full load at Bexhill on C. And we're going to, I'm going to use what I use in other series here. And usually this, I'll, I'll put TF and it means train freight. Because we've only got trams, it's going to be tram freight. And then we'll use TP for tram passenger. And then we're going to go, so the end, the end location is Canterbury. And we're going to call that grain. So that's going to bring Canterbury grain. And if we hit play now, we should see our very first cargo trams coming out. We'll have a little bit of a ride along on these. As you can see, guys, these do look very cool. See the steam coming out the top. Guy in his full suit driving. Little lamp at the front. They almost look like some kind of mine car, if you see what I mean. I think it's, it looks pretty cool, that. So, right, the grain's appearing here, which means it's picked up the demand. So this place can see that it is getting it, but now we need to be shipping it into the town. So what I do want to do, and this is where it falls down at the moment, just having this one depot. We're going to want one of these, and I'm just going to have one long one delivering the food in, just to minimise the amount of traffic that's going into the town. I want to tell it to, at the transfer, I want it to load a full load, and that's going to be tram freight, it's going to be uh, Canterbury food and we'll just put delivery just so we know that that's going into the town now I'm I'm unsure so far as to what kind of curveballs we're going to get thrown with with only going tram mode as you can see there they have split on different platforms I just wanted to make sure that that one last tram we've put on isn't going to hold up the other traffic I will as always turn off the, the costs because it's it really annoys me, and I do believe it slows the game down quite a bit, just seeing the um, the prices tick up every sort of two metres down the road. There we go, we've got the smaller version here. Now, obviously, these guys delivering the grain. Food production turns two grain into one food, so there will be half the amount, and obviously there's a much shorter journey here. So that's pretty much the line set up for Canterbury now. What I am going to do is add a few roads in here, We'll tell it to keep track here, just to promote a little bit of growth in Canterbury, because this is going to be the first place. I don't mind demolishing that house there, just to give me a little bit layout, better layout of the town. Yeah, I don't. I want to try and help this town grow. With it being the first one we're establishing, this is going to be the first place on the map that's actually going to receive some goods. And then I'm unsure as to whether to next is to set up a another another goods route in a different town or whether we connect a, a passenger route what I was thinking is this is a nice little route from Dareham here all the way up we could come all the way up through the mountain pass here I just don't know whether with these steep hills here I'd like to keep that in maybe we wait for electric and we get a nice tram that can snake up and around that bend and down then we could even maybe use some of this grain and bring some food up this way or we'll look into that when we get to it but I'm just going to pay back some of this loan for now just so we're not getting charged the interest on it all the time ok 
can see now the first first tram I believe is about to arrive. Let's see how much this earns for a full load of 18 over that distance. It should be pretty good because they work, do work on distance and it's come quite far. 61,000. That's not bad at all actually. I'm hoping that this guy, the food delivery, doesn't block anyone, which he isn't going to from here. That's perfect. He's just long enough to sit there and wait for a full load. What I don't want is him em constantly running through the town empty and bugging everybody because we do have this uh, emissions, as you can see, everywhere these trams have been. There's really high emissions level, and that's because they're burning coal. So eventually what we'll probably have is there you give our first unlock by the look of it. What we will have eventually, I think, is to have sort of a hub outside each town, is what I'm thinking. So we can have the dirty emissions producing trams bringing the goods to a main hub outside and then we'll have some cleaner electric trams taking them in and delivering. As well as obviously the passenger trams between towns. But I think that should keep everybody a bit happier. Because if you look on the towns here, you can see one of the things that affects town growth is the emissions. And actually, if I speed this up now, just as this tram's coming in, as you can see on this emissions map, the emissions will start to spread into the town. And this might affect the growth. There you go, it's just gone to minus 10. Now even, so even though we're making money, just that one tram coming in, it's gone to minus 20. See, that's actually really bad. And that's why we want to keep things to a minimum. That's one of the problems with having the trams, because I believe, and I'm not sure on this one, but I believe that also noise counts as a pollution. So we'll see. Um, but that's that one set up for now. This guy's going to pick up another 12. I'm hoping he'll be enough for now, because he should do two trips before the next grain gets back here. This guy's already ran out. So we should end up making this, but ending up with both of these lines being profitable, which we are. So it's a good way to kickstart the episode. We're actually making money. And it's a good way to kickstart the series. So I'm going to take this opportunity to say thank you very much for joining me, guys. I hope you're excited about this series like I am. Let me know down below if you've got any cool ideas or if you know any decent tram mods or anything. Or even if you just fancy playing along. Let me know just so I can see who's interested. But thanks for joining me, guys, and I'll catch you in the next episode. I guess it